Now let's try to install Docker on a Linux machine. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using a Debian 9.5, also known as Stretch in the code name, uh, virtual machine on digital ocean. So if we just do a quick Google of it, Debian 9.5. So this is what I'm using. Uh, it's the most recent distribution of Debian as of July 2018, code name Stretch. Now, just because I'm trying to demonstrate how to install Docker on multiple different environments, Debian and other Linux distributions as well, I will use DigitalOcean for the ease of creating these environments because installing them locally on my machine is going to take a lot of time. So we'll just go ahead and create a new droplet. DigitalOcean calls these virtual machines droplets. So I'm creating a new droplet here now. So I'll select Debian 9.5, architecture x64. Uh, I'll just leave everything else default and I'll select Bangalore because that's where I'm based right now. I'll select my SSH key so that I'm able to SSH into the machine and I'll give it name, host name, Debian Docker Tutorial. Alright, so it will go ahead and create a new virtual machine for me. It should not take more than a few seconds usually. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and open my terminal. So once this is done, we will SSH into this machine and we will go ahead and install Docker by following the official documentation from Docker's uh, docs website. Okay, so it started and you can see the IP address here. I'll just click copy. Uh, doesn't matter even if you're able to see it right now because by the time you're watching this video this machine will be long gone so I'll just do SSH root at this particular machine and I'm inside this machine so now let's go ahead and search for install docker on Debian so the very first link it says docs.docker.com slash install Linux docker CE docker CE stands for docker community edition and the version Debian so it first asks you to uninstall old versions. We don't have any old versions. We just create a new machine right now on DigitalOcean. So we don't need to do this step. And then it asks you to set up the repository. So we'll follow the install using the repository option. There are other options as well, which is install um, from a package or install using convenience script. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just following the standard mechanism of doing it using the repository. So let's start. You'll notice the internet here is quite fast because I'm actually running it on digital ocean, not on my local machine. So it doesn't depend how fast or slow my local internet is. Well, it does just to see the text outstream, but the download speed as you can see is like really awesome there. So because mine is stretch, stretch is nine. So I'll follow the instructions for Jesse or newer, which means eight or newer, nine is included in that. So it says Jesse or newer, and it asks me to install these packages. So all I did is copy paste that command. And when it asks me to continue, I'm just typing Y and continuing. So the installation continues, it's taking a bit of time given the number of packages it is trying to install. Alright, it seems like it's almost done. Okay, we are done there. So now let's go ahead and add Docker's official GPG key.
okay this is done it says okay no errors now I'll verify the fingerprint by following this command so I should have the key fingerprint as this so I'm copying here and I'm searching it in my terminal so you can see that the key fingerprint is exactly same copy paste worked just the way it was supposed to now I'll add the docker repository so notice I'm just adding the stable version of the repository if I wanted to add the edge version of the repository which is the most recent changes not the ones which are released to public I could have typed edge after stable and that would have been done but I'm just using the stable the default one which is given over here so for edge I could have done this but I'm not doing this because I only want the stable version oh I missed All right, so that is done. Now this is for VZ only. VZ is an older version of Debian which we are not using. So now we'll go ahead and install Docker CE. We have added the repository, so I'll quickly run the update command. So it's done and I'm now installing Docker CE. So it's, it now says that after this operation, 444 MB of additional disk space will be used and it needs to fetch 92.5 MB of archives. I'll just say yes and continue. Wow, you can see the internet speed over here. It says nine Mbps, so now it's close to one Mbps. So there are some further instructions as well for example if you want you can ask it to install an older version of docker uh, where it says specific version but by default it installs the most latest version as per the doc as per the apt get uh, source repositories which we just added by running this command so once this is done we'll go ahead and run sudo docker run hello world and if it is installed it will give us a proper instruction saying that your docker CE is installed correctly all right so this is done let's now go ahead and verify that docker is installed so as you notice it's not able to find the image locally so it goes to docker hub and pulls the image from there so it actually went to library slash hello world let's try to search for this on docker hub so i'll search for hello world oops All right, so it went to hello world and it fetched the image from here for us so it now says hello from docker this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly so we are now done with the installation for Debian and you can now go ahead and try something more ambitious as it says so for example you can try to run bash program inside Ubuntu machine while using docker so essentially what this means is although I am on a Debian machine right now I can ins I can run this to run Ubuntu inside inside uh, sorry inside my Debian machine so if I do this it will go ahead and fetch the latest image of Ubuntu and once that is done now I'm inside the bash of Ubuntu and not Debian you you will notice the different host name here for Debian it was Debian docker and now for this it is this so I'll come out of it and I'll see docker images hyphen a so I have Ubuntu latest image and hello world latest image if I want to again run I can just say docker run hyphen it it is for interactive and tty console uh, and then Ubuntu and 
which program I want to run. I'm running bash. So I'm again in here. So you can see this is uh, SP release. All right. Um, so here we are in Ubuntu, and that's it. Next, we'll look at installing Docker on different on a different flavor of Linux.